Hello, Burlington Science teachers. It's Jen Sheffer here, and I'm super excited to create this video, especially for you, to give you an overview of the incredible content that's available in the area of science in discovery education. So to access that content, you're going to be in your discovery education teacher dashboard, and you'll start by clicking on browse subjects. From here, you can go over into science. You're going to be taken to this first page here. You'll see that there are grade bands. We're going to just stay in the six to eight grade band for now. But you can see these are the best curated channels for each topic in science. So we have earth and space science, history and nature, inquiry, life science, physical science, science and technology, and science and personal and social perspectives. And I really liked inquiry when I clicked on that because I know um, we focus on that here in um, Burlington uh, in terms of the curriculum, especially questioning, scientific investigation. We have data collection and analysis and then communication. So you can explore any of these topics in greater detail. Just want to show you on this home page here that these are instructional activities that are already created for you. So they are huge time savers. Uh, they are presentations with interactive components, quiz questions, um, formative assessments built right in. Um, there's also some slideshows that you might find interesting and useful and relevant to what you're teaching. There are popular science channels. There's a partnership with NASA. So if you want to get your students excited about that when you're teaching um, about the uh, universe and the solar system, there are Discovery Ed picks here. Um, there are um, some astronaut interviews. And again, this is giving your students a behind the scenes, inside look um, to some award winning content vetted um, so you can rest assured that it is, it is appropriate and it's really high quality. Um, you can also expose them to various uh, NASA STEM career fields. So I just wanted to give you an overview of that. If I hit that back button a couple times, I can come up here and I know at the elementary level, we um, one of the units is on plants. So we can do a, a quick search term on plants. We could click on that uh, K to two grade band, and then we can start to just search through um, in things that catch our eye, parts of a plant. All right, I'm going to click my three dots, add to the quick list, plant life cycles, add to quick list. So I can just go through and start um, adding uh, content to the quick list that's relevant to what I'm teaching, and then I could go back and I could put them in folders. You'll see all the results here. There's 2,072 results, so I can filter those down. Um, and get a little bit more uh, specific if I wanted to. Um, the other thing that uh, I wanted to mention, if I'm teaching, say, high school physics, okay, I could go into physics. And I'm going to click on the 9 to 12 grade band. So I have a channel here, Flipping Physics, so I can um, preview that channel if I wanted to, to, to discover a bit more content. So I have circuits and chargers motion, velocity and acceleration, momentum and inertia. So again, just clicking on those three dots, adding to the quick list. Um, you're the expert in what you teach, so you'll know whether or not you want to add this um, content to your uh, educator dashboard. Um, nuclear physics, um, AP physics. So just wanted to take this opportunity to show you that whether you're teaching elementary science, middle school or high school science, um, you can really dig deep into discovery education to find relevant content that will engage your students in their learning, that will get them curious about the essential questions, that will get them motivated to achieve the learning goals um, in your curriculum. So um, I hope you will spend some time um, going through what is available to you in this incredible platform. I am here to support you, um, to help you curate the content, to help you organize the content. And um, I hope this has been helpful to you as a science teacher. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me to collaborate. Um, and we can take a look at the curriculum in, in more detail, and we can uh, work together to uh, bring this fantastic platform to your students. Thank you so much for watching.